So why do I call this thing design from trust, not design for trust? Kind of a bunch of reasons. Uh, Joe Gebbia of Airbnb gave a very nice TED talk where he talked about design for trust. And the example he gives in the middle of the talk is uh, on the little dialogue box that pops up on Airbnb when you as a prospective guest get to explain to the host why you'd like to stay in their place. How big should that dialogue box be? If it's too tiny, I won't give the host enough information for them to have a reason to trust me. If it's too big, I may not finish filling out the box, or worse, I may put in too much information. Like, I want to come here because I used to live here when I was robbing banks, and I really like the neighborhood, that kind of thing. Uh, so he's talking about how do you do user interface design to promote trustworthy interactions, which is fine and noble. Uh, and Airbnb does indeed uh, model trust of important, uh, in, in important ways because it's part of the sharing economy. And the idea that people are staying with other people in their homes when they're, sometimes when they're not there, often when they're actually not present, is all about trust. But this user interface design segment is not what I'm talking about in design from trust. I really am talking about design from an assumption that the people you're interacting with are generally more trustworthy than we tend to think they are that people on the whole want to behave well and are looking for ways to behave well and in fact that we should design in ways that make it easy for them to behave well that we should not design from mistrust and usually what that turns into is designing structures that prohibit bad behaviors that prevent bad actors from acting bad right from the start and when we do that we usually also prevent good actors from acting better than they might by default. We get rid of sort of the genius that shows up in these interactions. So it really is designed from trust, from an assumption that the average human is trustworthy. Again, it's not naive trust. It's not an assumption that every human is trustworthy, but it's an opening gambit. It's an opening of vulnerability that says, I'm going to think that you're going to come in and try to help and until you prove otherwise, I will treat you that way. And together, let's find out if we can do something absolutely brilliant here. And that's one of the things I really love about Design from Trust.